All right, sweet. Let's uh, despite some oh oh, I love it. I love it when you do that. I love when you start automatically playing Twitch. How can I have my dashboard up and then stream if you're gonna just start playing automatically? It doesn't make sense. So, despite some feel bads that you can find on my Facebook page and uh, posting a GoFundMe today for my uh, non-working car AC, let's see if we can get some some either volt action. Let's lower the volume here as well. Hmm. Let's do these bad boys. Snorkrash, what's going on, buddy? Good seeing you. That was my day. <laughs> it's been interesting, buddy. It's been interesting. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, Yehenny. Yehenny herself. This card seems very good. So does Shielded Aether Thief. I have not played Spire Patrol, but it's definitely no Cloud Blazer. <gasps> Did I say it was Resident Evil? Oh, no. Okay, it's updated. It's too late though, it's already listed. Oh no, how do people deal with this? I wanna take the Yehenny. I think it's probably the coolest card in here. It also seems very strong. Dang it, dang it, this. I'm gonna take this jacket off because it's actually pretty hot in here. Ugh. All right. <clears throat> Sure, my hair doesn't get clipped so close to the top. All right, I think we're good. Windkin Raiders, which is a pretty good uncommon. Aether Poisoner, which keeps us black. Mobile Garrison, which also keeps us black. I kind of like Aether Poisoner also because it uh, keeps us in one color, and it also gives us two, two potentially two, two guys for for Yehenny. I like Poisoner a lot. Prisoner, what's a prisoner? <clears throat> I'm going to assume you meant Poisoner. And I'm just trolling you. <laughs> um, it's an interesting pack. Reverse Engineer is very good. Pima Aether Seer, not terrible. Uh, I think we're just taking Reverse Engineer. It seems like the best card. Or, <laughs> I lost my glass. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. <clears throat> Filigree Crawler is not a third pick I want to take, but it does go well with this bad boy. Is there an audio sync bug? Because that makes me super sad if there is. I'm going to take the Reverse Engineer. Oh, God. Audio sync again? Why does this stuff happen to why does bad why do bad things happen to good people? Uh, I don't know what to do about it. Let me check out the webcam, make sure there's not uh that actually. Um what if I just if I just what if I did this? You guys probably have no idea as an audio sync bug if I just cover my mouth, right? I think it's resourceful return. We're not necessarily blue. And I like the idea of having a second Yehenny in our deck. <laughs> it's the, is that the George Bush laugh? <laughs> I'm going to take the spin hauler. Oh, it caught up. Man, that's the best. Unless you were just literally looking at me covering my mouth. Oh. 
I wonder if this augmenting automaton is, is any good. It's like the only reasonable black card in this pack, and it helps us cast the Fen Hauler and the Reverse Engineer if we play it. So I'm going to take this guy. Hey there, Pooper. Hey there, Pooper. Fairly regular for, for my stream or for any stream? I'm going to take the Implement of Malice. We can just keep on being, being black right now. <sighs> Static suicide, what's going on, buddy? I like Sly Requisitioner. Especially with the Yeheni. Mobile Garrison's also pretty good too. Okay. Every time I have to do it. I want to take the Sly Requisitioner. I think we can get another Mobile Garrison. And this card is improvised, which goes well with these two artifacts. Another Fen Hauler. <clears throat> Could take this Aether Inspector and go white. I don't care about this dude. We can also go red. I don't think we want another Fen Hauler. Unbelievable, Yoakum. What up, my dudes? Lord Sultan of Value. I don't know what to take. I'm going to take this either, Inspector. I'm going to take this Watchful Automaton. Put you on the sidelines. Um Now I have to now I have to reply to something. these cards are any good. Salvage Scuttler. Is this card any good? Bouncing artifacts, right? That doesn't seem great. I don't want any of... Oh, wow. Midnight Entourage and we have a Yeheni. Oh, we have to pass this gifted Aetherborn. This seems good, though. We can just take all the Aetherborn. Tezzeret's Touch. That could be good. Put this on an automaton. Yeah, let's take the touch. This is actually a deck that we can actually... Oh! Interesting. That's a good point. Yeah, if you don't have artifacts, it just comes back. It just doesn't do any... Yeah, that's... That's... What? The Double Midnight Entourage deck? Oh my god. And we have to pass this Ironclad Revolutionary. I'm going to take the, the second Midnight Entourage. That seems sick. 
Wow, that's awesome. This deck is looking sick. Is that a fifth pick, Gifted Aetherborn? <clears throat> we got two men on Thrust, a Tether's Touch, a Gifted Aetherborn. What else is in this pack? I am a little blue. Oh my god, this deck looks sick right now. Double Midnight Entourage. Whew. Any more, uh, sweet Aetherborns? Nothing? I'm gonna take this Shipwreck Moray. That's a Moray. I guess Ice Over's fine here, right? I don't think we're taking anything else. Nothing else in this pack is any good. We can take this Oath of a Johnny. No. What are the odds that other Gifted Aetherborn comes back? I don't know if any of these cards are any good. Oh, Augmented Automaton number dose. Why isn't this an Aetherborn construct? Oh, Char005. This is Frank Lapouche's channel. What do we even take here? None of these cards are any good. What? Ironclad Revolutionary? <gasps> That's so exciting. This card's very good. Oh, what's going on? Mike Gant. This deck's exciting. I'm liking this deck. I think we do want one Defiant Salvager. Do we have any... Um, this is an Aetherborn. Actually, that's pretty good. I'll take that, dude. Eh, I don't actually mind Resourceful Return when we have Dilla Minute Entourage and Yehenny. Or a second Resourceful Return, anyway. If they got the removal heavy deck, I'll take it. What? The other Ironclad Revolutionary came back? Deal. Deal. Oh my god, how many secret salvages are we going to get past in this draft? I'm just going to take the playset. That's unbelievable. Sahili's Artistry. Okay, I'll take this. So many six drops. Look, we can have our own whale. We can have our own whale. Every day. We also just want like mud spinners. Oh, we did get the haircut. The haircut the haircut was unlocked. Um If we open Gonti that would be the sickest. 
It's, uh, at this rate, it's also not impossible that we get past Aganti, to be fair. Also, if you guys have noticed, uh, I am going to be going to Grand Prix in New York. Alright, I'm trying to. So any donations uh, between now and then will be going to my Grand Prix New York fund to help me play for a flight hotel. It's things like that. Um, It's weird that I'm going to take Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot over Longfin Sky Whale. Actually, how many artificers do we have? Does not look like many. Couple. I'm going to take the goggles. That was a that was a hot pick right there. A hot take? Is that what they're called? That was a hot take. I'm gonna take this eager construct. Put you right here. You're gonna look beautiful alongside my other friends. Eh, pillar bug's good. Nothing overpowered in these packs. <clears throat> uh New York, I believe, is uh New Jersey. It's Grand Prix New Jersey. Did I say New York? I'm in New Jersey. Uh I believe it's standard. Did I say New York? Yeah, okay, it's New Jersey everywhere else. I got you. <gasps> Glimmer of genius. I'm gonna take that. That is a good card. Oh, we got Glimmer and Reverse Engineer. We're gonna be drawing every card in our deck. Oh yeah, if I'm if I go to yeah, if I go to GP New York New Jersey, it's definitely with the intent of uh doing some live magic TV. I don't think we need any draw more, more draw card draw card cards. I'm gonna take this make obsolete. Underhanded design. Oh, I like a tidy conclusions. We don't have a tremendous amount of removal and Admiral Akbar with a 13 month sub. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yoakum, I was expecting you to chime in. I figured you'd have a, a pretty strong opinion. Is it underhanded designs or is it tidy conclusion? I think it's tidy conclusion. I don't have to be reliant on these artifacts. Oh, uh, none of these cards are exciting. I'm just taking Revolutionary Rebuff. Scarlet Harlot. Thank you for saying so. Really appreciate it. Oh, you couldn't say anything? Why not, I wonder? That's weird. Ticket to a cruise? Is there a cruise? This is a dubious pick, if you ask me. So we got three cuts to make. This is an artificer. Take a puzzle on. This is an artificer. You're a, you're a, you're just a vampire. That's not a job. That's just two races. You're a rogue. That's kind of a job, right? This deck looks sweet. I don't think we actually need Fen Hauler. I think our ironclad revolutionaries are strictly better. Because, well, I'm gonna use strictly in in you know in loose terms, um, because these guys are both Aetherborn and they're six sixes that deal to. I hate Fillery Crawler, but I think it's fine when we have, um, Salvager, Yeheni, and two ironclad revolutionaries. I think it's almost a necessary. 
Shipwreck Moray can go. It's 14 creatures. So what kind of removal are we looking at here? What kind of removal are we looking at? Tezzeret's Touch is also pretty solid. Put it on this Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Mr. Photon, thank you so much for saying so, buddy. Yoakum, have a good night, buddy. I'm sure I'll see you, uh, well, probably tomorrow, I bet. I took my, I just literally took my stream jacket off because it was, it was toasty in here. My stream jacket. <laughs> also, my regular jacket. One more card to cut. What do we cut? Yeah, I mean, like, <clears throat> so the thing about the air conditioning, I, I started a GoFundMe um, because my my compressor in my car went out, and it's going to cost like fourteen to sixteen hundred dollars in total. And I'm I'm in Florida, like it's ninety degrees out, like you just can't live without AC in your car, and like that's a pretty unexpected expense, fourteen hundred bucks. So if people want to help, by all means. If you can't, or if you have uh, more pressing matters. That's fine, too. What is our one cut here? Is it ice over? What's our removal? This guy has death touch. This guy has death touch. That's removal. I think that's it. Yeah, I think I guess we keep the ice over. Do you just cut one of these six drops? Seems seems rough. I'm not a big fan of it. Do we cut one of these? I think we maybe cut the implement. Keep metal spinners puzzle on. But then they're both good with stupid sly requisitioner. Hmm. <laughs> you think Implement is better than Metal Spinner Puzzle Knot? That's two cards, though. That's two cards. I guess it's also two cards over, like, five million mana. Maybe it's just... Eh, let's get... Yeah, all right. Let's get rid of the Puzzle Knot, sure. One, two, three, four, five. We still have, like, a million artifacts early in the game. Scarlet Harlot with that Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. You are the best. I want to cut Reverse Engineer, but the last time I cut Reverse Engineer, so many people yelled at me because they were like, this is basically a draw three for two mana. Maybe this isn't the same deck, though, and it's double blue. This deck does seem like gas as soon as we figure out the configuration. Yeah, Southeast Colorado is probably just as bad as Florida, which is literal swamp. I love a resourceful return, especially when we have Yeheni, two Midnight Entourage. I would actually be tempted to cut one of these guys. Especially because we have a resourceful return. But that does drop us down to 13 creatures and a Tezzeret's Touch, which is 14 creatures. It's a good amount. All right, we'll we'll cut the we'll cut the reverse. Oof. Oh wait, we're actually at twenty two cards now. What did we do? Did we cut something? Did we did we already cut something? What happened? Oh, we cut the puzzle knot already. Okay. Okay. How do you see the... Do they not show, like, the stats anymore? Do they, like, just literally remove that feature? That's weird that they would do that. Oh, is it on the ad? 
No, what? That's weird that it doesn't show you like X blue cards, X red cards, X white cards. I'm actually going to go 10-7 here. Or, uh, not 10-7, 9-8. Just because we have these double blue cards, we don't have any way to fix it. Actually, Gifted Aetherborn's a big dude. They used to have stats where it would say, like, your percentage of, like, creatures, your percentage of X, your percentage of this. Um, and then it would say, like, you know, seven blue cards, eight, eight red cards, you know, whatever, stuff like that. And now it's just not here, which is weird. Maybe it's just not in leagues. I don't know. Oh, no, it's not. I'm just, I'm saying it's like it wouldn't be in the new version. I, man, maybe it would be. I don't know. It's been ages. Like, it's been ages since I checked. Anyway. <laughs> oh, sweet. A new modern brew. What's up, Brandon? I think Puzzle Mod actually might be better than Reverse Engineer. Like, it's still... It's a card early, but it counts for Requisitioner. It counts for... Um, well, it doesn't count for Reverse Engineer, I guess. It can be sacrificed with Salvager. Maybe it is Sly Requisitioner. Yeah, let's do Puzzle Knot. We'll, we'll do Puzzle Knot over Reverse. Yeah, I think that's the play. Alright, sweet. Let's do it. Alright, I'm in. And it makes the other guy better. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, now it's eight artifacts instead of seven. I only have like three blue cards, but they're all very good, so. You don't know, I'll sacrifice these goggles. This hand's slow, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. We're on the draw. What could possibly go wrong, guys? Alright, I like it. Now we can play this Midnight Entourage. Do you like how I played the, the island instead, so now we're gonna draw a Gifted Aetherborn and feel real dumb? I was like, hmm, why does it matter what land we play first? Oh, thank goodness. I was going to be so sad if it was the Gifted Aetherborn. I would have cried. For days. This guy's actually going to do me a good amount of damage. We have a, so many 1 and 2 drops. Yeah, there we go. Now we're talking. Bottom. I need, I need land. I don't even, I haven't even seen the standard gauntlets. Well, of course. Can't block any of these things, and then you just play this ridiculous monster. Well, this guy can't, well, I guess we can double block this guy if we want to. Oh well, alright, sure. 5-5 five, five Construct, but he still can't block this guy or this guy. And this guy is just terrifying. That's a big dude. Do 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 do. I feel like we're pretty behind this game, which is unfortunate because our deck is sweet.
Yeah, like we just can't do anything here. Just mono menace creatures than guys that can't be blocked by artifacts. To make obsolete actually seems pretty reasonable here. Take out the Tezzerith touch for make obsolete. Kills both of their three ones. If they have anything else, it kills those two, so. Keep. Snap, keep. This hand is where it's at. Gifted Aetherborn, Midnight Entourage. All we need is one more land. Oh, come on, really? You're going to show up late? that. Pass. Fragmentize? Well, isn't that special? I don't feel like trading Eager Construct for this guy. I'd rather just wait and we can make obsolete him and still have a guy on board. What? How does this always happen? How do I end up facing the same exact decks? Seems fine. I mean, we could have done a pre-combat, but then we don't kill their Midnight Entourage. I'd rather just kill their Midnight Entourage. Hmm. Draw a card. Oh, that would have been great if we could cast that bad boy. Um. Bottom you, we can top you. Nine, the old nine to twenty-nine, a classic. Oh, that guy would have been great if we could make him obsolete. Oh my god, where's the make obsolete now? I doubt they're gonna two for one themselves. Even if they do, I think it's just fine. Wow. Alright, deal. Let's get that last card out of that hand. Oh, it was just an old-timey swamp.
Well, we're not going to attack here because I'd rather save... Um, there's no point. Like, we sack a guy, it becomes a 2-2, two -two, not a 3-3, three -three, so... Once their guy dies, that's when we get the... Wait, okay, yeah, sure, that's fine. Take two, go to 30. Sure. We're going to attack first. Uh, we get an extra life, and also if we... Uh, if they hit like a removal spell. Why don't we attack with Yeheni? I don't know. Well, it depends on what they hit, actually. 2 3, sure. That's actually fine. <laughs> be like <laughs> okay see how that goes over The double block. You don't know how your henny works? Shoot, I got um I got indestructible for days. Um, I guess that's fine. She did her job. This dude's an artificer. I'm just gonna now. I'm gonna sacrifice uh, the goggles, not the goggles, the servo still. <laughs> Sounds like an unfortunate occurrence. It was pretty sad, yeah. I I was dropping frames actually. I did notice that. Also, if you guys didn't notice, there's a I, I added a little tip jar, which is super cute. Oh, we could have moved this over and killed them. I'm so bad at this game. Whatever, they gotta block this guy. Go to one. I ain't playing into your fumigate with my... I could've also just sacked this guy, right? No, it didn't, that, that doesn't do that. That gives indestructible, not plus one, plus one. Yeah, we should just move this over. That would've been pretty bad. All right, anything else that's good. Let me take out one revolutionary for the shipwreck moray. That's a moray. Uh, if you had asparagus tips, I would probably put them in there. I eat them. I can get behind some asparagus tips. We have three consulate turrets. We could be dealing so much damage. Specifically to a turn. <laughs> Which is pretty bad.
Sounds iffy. I'm gonna keep it. Because we got things to do. Barely. Come on, gift today, the born. Don't play a two drop. Every game with this Emerald Bruiser, man. Oh, just a land? That's good. That's what I was hoping for. I think we're losing this game, which is super sad. This hand was no good, but I hate mulliganing. Oh my god, that thing is just insane. Come on, Magic. I get it. You're mad that I didn't mulligan. Oh my god, please, just let me... Just let me make... Make obsolete. That's all. I just want to be making things obsolete. I guess we'll take six here. Because this is a fair card. Just let me make them obsolete. No? Okay. Well, we tried. We had a good run. So we go to two now. That's cool. I like going to two. God. Oh man, make obsolete is so good right now. It's unbelievable. Yeah, we're dead. Unless top cards make obsolete. I don't know why I even kept tidy conclusion. That was pretty bad. Watch, if next cards make obsolete, I'm a fear off that. Yeah, I didn't even play it. I played one card this game, so... Meh. Oh, it's so infuriating when your deck seems perfect and then you just lose. Oh, well. Okay, this hand seems fantastic. I'll keep this one. So ideally we'll get a black at some point. Some point. Not, to, not today. Not tomorrow. Okay, every card is a different day apparently. How about the next day? Not then either. Alright, well, we're doing good. Keep what seems like a great hand. Don't draw a third land. Fat Tom Hanks, like I would ever spoil Scred. Oh my god. Like I would ever spoil Scred for you. Is there going to be a card here? No. Okay. We're having a good time. I am not on the West Coast. I recently moved to Florida. Okay, well, no one gets anything. Oh, we got a thing. Look how lucky we are. Whatever, we're playing this guy. He's got Death Touch. He's got D Touch. Sure. Give me a land so I can Midnight Entourage. Thank you. Of course, you're going to counter it because you have five mana up. You didn't counter it. I'm confused. You took damage. I don't know what's happening. All of this is moving very fast. Looks like we did stop dropping those frames, though. I can't say I understand what happened. Here comes the whale. You ready? 
Six four. Oh, just a Bastion Inventor. Sweet. No, I'm just gonna take it. Just taking dose. Just ice over that dude. Also tidy conclusion like this guy, I guess. I don't know. I don't think we even care about that guy to be quite honest with you. I think I like keeping tidy conclusion up a little more. We can also crack metal spinners puzzle knot. Yeah, that's fine. Let's do that. Oh, you're doing something crafty. Shielded Aether Thief. You got it. You have no energy. That doesn't even do anything. Watch, we're going to draw another mother midnight entourage. You got it. Actually, we'll tie the conclusion something here. We'll see what you got. Feel free to counter this if you'd like. You didn't want to. Always yield to that counter ability. <coughs> Excuse me. Do 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 do. Better dead than scred. I always I always say that. Don't steal my thing. I still don't feel like getting in there with you, Henny. This doesn't make sense to me. We got a four six over here. We're at 26 life. That's basically a million. Look at all these dudes. At the very least, these guys are sacrificial, so that's good. Wow, you're still getting in there with this guy? Bold moves, Cotton. Let's see what you got. You block three biggest dudes. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> I'm like, let's see what happens. <coughs> Turn them sideways. Shipwreck Amore. Yeah, let's take touch out. I can agree with touch being kind of suspect. How are you, father? Oh, boy. That's super awkward. Um... Did they show dispersal technician? Did they reveal it from their hand? Because I didn't see it. Let's bring in this Fen Hauler. That guy could be good. Keep. Oh, this guy's an Artificer. He's a 3 4. That's nice. That's nice. Got some goggles. 
Um, yeah, I'll play this guy. This is a, this is an attacker. Well, we're not attacking an old 1-3 here, so. God, look at these. Look at this curve. It's just gorgeous. I'm also scared they have a whale. It's like my it's like my big fear now. God, tigers for days. Oh look an island. How nice. <clears throat> What's up, oh man, I'm awful. Oh, thank God none of your guys have tokens on them. Counters on them. You can't have a token on a creature. Just block with everything and then they just kill it. Three, four, five, six. <laughs> you could have a token creature. Uh, yeah, we're just going to do infinite blocks here and see what happens. Something magical. Oh, Metal Joe. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Really appreciate it. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, we're just going to sack this guy to this guy. So, it's an even... It's a two for one. It's not a two for one. Wait, I miscounted? One, two, three, four, five, six. He doesn't get plus one, plus one. Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, God. I keep thinking he gets plus one, plus one with his stupid ability. Oh, it's frustrating. Wow, that was terrible. Like, this isn't the first time. Like, even last game, I was like, oh, if I, I could sacrifice this guy, I give him plus one, plus one. It only works with the opponent's guys, so. Yeah, that's not ideal. All right. Well. <clears throat> now, I mixed up his own two abilities. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, he gets a counter. I can sack another creature, he gets indestructible. So, like, <clears throat> there's just two two abilities that trigger when something dies, and I just forgot which is which. Whatever, I'll just take six here. You're not gonna, <clears throat> not gonna fool me twice, buddy.
we actually just put the goggles on this guy and we don't have to sacrifice anything. Nah. <coughs> Five, six is pretty strong here. Plus we're at a point where we can play anything in the deck, so that's nice. It's a nice feeling. Why would you just attack with this guy? And if you have plus three, plus three... Sure, I'll bite, because I think if you have the plus three, plus three, you just attack with this guy too, right? Or you'd only attack with this guy, and then it's just better than the 3-3. Three, three. I don't understand the plus 3 plus... I don't, I don't understand just attacking with this guy. Yeah, maybe they want to trigger a revolt, I guess. That seems fine. Well, then I just get to eat this guy. There we go. Now we get a, now we get a counter. Oh, he gives himself a second energy, too, which is reasonable. I don't know if that's good, though. What? What? Just for the energy? That's interesting. So if they block with this and this, I think that's just fine. Because <clears throat> I do like the idea of putting the goggles on this guy. Lady. What's up, game specific? Um, God, this this is a tricky position we're in. The question is just whether we attack. Like, do we want this guy not on offense? Like, they're at twenty if they don't block. I think we just play this and don't worry about it. I'm trying. <clears throat> excuse me. I'm trying to go to GP New Jersey, but. Uh, that's why I started the GP New Jersey Fund. <clears throat> All the guys like Paul Chion before me. Interesting. No attack, huh? Hmm, no attack, eh? Oh, that's nice. So now I feel a little better about attacking with the Ironclad Revolutionary. Is it Revolutionary? Shoot. Oh, shoot. Are you going to be... Oh, man, I'm awful. You're going to be at GP... GPNJ? Perhaps I will see you there, good sir. Um, I mean, we're obviously playing this guy. The question is, do we move the equipment? I think we do, because we're not blocking here. So, okay. Also tempted to sacrifice something to put a counter on it, but I don't think we need to do that. We have no cards in hand, unfortunately. So now when they go, like, double white mana fumigate, <clears throat> puts us in a real awkward position. You got it. It's the eye of the tiger. up to the challenge of our rivals.
All right, this is correct. Three, four, and a three, three. Nice. We can do this. Okay. Don't need to. Don't need to make this guy indestructible. Can't do anything about you. Just a, just a simple trade. A defiant salvager for Raparian Tiger and two energy seems great. <clears throat> Easy peasy. You got it, old leopard. So Let's start getting aggressive. B. Aggressive. B. I bet you don't block. I bet you don't block anything. Oh, that's rude. Oh. That's alright. Now I get to replay that guy and sacrifice like an eager construct? That seems fantastic. Oh, you're going to have a counter spell. Your last card's 100% counter spell. Oh, it's not counter spell, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now it's a 7 8. Seems good. Oh, I'm okay with this. All these things are just fine. Come on. That's beautiful. No point of attacking with the 2 3 because they have so many 1 3s. Where are our entourages? RR. That Yehenny is real big right now. Didn't re-equip because now we can keep up tidy conclusion. I will take two damage. From your little bird. That doesn't even seem great here. I'm gonna kill your cat. Now you don't have any two threes, so our two threes are better. Our two power guys are better. Three, four, five, so we can actually crack this and still enough to cast everything if we want to. Boy. That's a dude. You actually have to block both of these, so we might as well attack with everything. And leave you dead next turn. That is a big Yehenny. Wow. I think that's game, good sir. <laughs> Knew I shouldn't have sided board out of people. Uh, <coughs> rookie mistake. Alright, let's do it. Let's try to get the 2-1 with this deck that seems very, very good. Let's actually... Um, Let's go to... Let's take out the Tezzeret's Touch. You got the Tezzeret's Touch. What did, we, what did we bring in last time? The Fen Hauler? I could even see bringing Glassblower's Puzzle Knot, but whatever. I like creatures.
<laughs> I do remember that time I two for zeroed myself. I just wanted to be fair. I just wanted to put the game on a little more level playing field. I think it's Moray instead. It's just a good blocker. Let's do it. Hippie woe. Oh, this hand seems fine. If it's a little slow, it's, it's we still got ice over for the turn for their turn two guy that's gonna inevitably kill us. Now we can start on double swamp to make sure we have mana for our gifted Aetherborn in case we draw that dude. We didn't draw that dude. It's the saddest day in shipwreck moray history. No, nothing? Oh, nice and slow. Let's play a nice, slow game. Moray's coming down. That's a Moray. <laughs> right, yeah, I was, I was thinking that same thing. I'm like, well, if I bring in Puzzle Knot, it's just, there's no reason to take out the Tizzeret's Touch. Fashion relate to the party. We could play this guy last turn, then we could have played Requisitioner this turn. Twas not meant to be. Give me that snake. Give me that snake. That's a, that's an eel. And it says it's a fish. Come on. That ain't no fish. That's no fish. <laughs> well, Adil, why? How do you do these things? Um, is it Watchful Automaton and then shielding that dude? No, we're gonna go Requisitioner here. I rather I don't like playing Ice Over before they attack because then they just don't attack and then they're like, all right, I'll go Blocker for the rest of the game. And that's just bad. Those that's just for bad hombres. I'm also not attacking. MTG Michael, what's going on? Are you going to kill this? Oh, you just have a Yeheni. So we're just playing against mono mirror matches all day. Don't do it. Don't do like a one... Don't do a Prey Upon. Come on. Ugh. Whatever. Ain't nobody got time for your shenanigans. I'm gonna ice that dude over. Why would you just attack with this guy? Oh, because I can pump? But then they just trade, right? Like, doesn't seem great. Oh, something magical happened. Metal Joe? <clears throat> Sick! Thank you for the... Uh, you broke the GP NY, NJ funds cherry, as they say. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the help. That is awesome. Hopefully it'll update. I gotta make sure the donation... Uh, ticker is working, as they say. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Might have been tempted to block here, uh, and then pump the eel twice. And then they have to sacrifice Aether Herder, and then we can... But then we're basically just trading Moray for Aether Herder. But then they don't have Aether Herder, which seems good. So, we'll see. We'll see.
what's the hold up here? We also have resourceful return to get back Sly or Requisitioner. So next turn, we can actually grab this guy back, tap this guy, replay it. That seems good. Come on, you Grand Prix New Jersey fun. You better update. <clears throat> yes, it did. All right, sweet. So we are good. What's the hold up here? I don't understand. You got one black. What can you even do? It's my main phase. Why are they being like this? Donation jukebox for a dollar song is actually not a bad idea. Um, my only problem with that is I'm trying to make the videos more accessible on YouTube. And um, <clears throat> it's easier to do when there's no music. Because then there's not the cutouts. Oh, they did. They did get iced out. You're right. Maybe his. Maybe the authorities are at his door because his name is Hippie Woe. Okay, this guy's coming at us. Making a 1-1. One, one. You got it. I'll be blocking. And if you pump this guy, I'm just gonna go ham. I have the plus three, plus three. Just see. Okay, cool. You don't. You don't. <clears throat> what are you playing? Six mana. What is Drogar's Eagle's greatest number one, greatest power? Oh, so you get to just draw three and then cast another three. Well, that's insane. I want to play this in standard. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Nothing died this turn, so that doesn't even trigger. Okay. Oh, you're just going to make it trigger. You're going to make it trigger. Sure. Cool forest, bro. Yeah, that seems reasonable. I'm just gonna nug you for a million right now. Take six, sucker. Reasonable. Chocolate or golden Oreos? Um, you know what? I think I like... Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Omega Sun X for the $20 donation. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Jeez. That is the sickest. Um, so I think I actually... Okay, so here's the thing. It's weird. All my life, I've preferred golden Oreos. I just like the I, I like the vanilla flavor better than the chocolate. So, um, funny enough, I feel like I've eaten so many recently. Not so many. Like I'm not like gorging myself on vanilla Oreos, but I've had like a bunch of um, Keebler Vienna cookies, like the long ones. So, like since that's the most recent flavor, I kind of feel more like a chocolate Oreo feel right now. I'm feeling that chocolate Oreo feel right now. Is where I'm at. Play this dude. Play old buggerino. And then we got two mana, we can activate this and we can crack this. So let's crack it now, I guess. Right? Or do we just save it for revolutionary next turn? 
I think we save it for revolutionary. My hair is apparently green every day because there's a green screen behind me. Hunter, chill out, bud. Stop. He is getting ram rambunctious and I don't even know why. If you guys attack me with anything. Wow, this is aggressive. So you can't clip this guy again. So I'm just going to double block here. And take five, I guess. would use a blue screen and work better with the gray so the reason they use green is because uh green is apparently the only color um not the only color but it's, i guess it's one of the main colors that's not present in uh like f flesh this is where they blow us out with a plus three plus three actually no we just pump this guy right four five six I had a trick the whole time. Sure. Dogs doing crazy things. All right, let's go resolve it. I don't know what the problem is. This guy's internet's really flaking. Attempt to go grab a drink while we wait for old old hippie woe. So anyway, to answer your question, oh, double stuffed are are legit. Mega is also legit. I'm pretty sure the best. Um, um, what's the word I'm looking for? The best Oreo is the best part of the Oreo is the cream, right? Like that's not that's not crazy, right? How many cards before? We want to say you're putting out the best content to see beer. It's super entertaining. Even enjoy it. Thank you so much, Grave D17. Really appreciate it. My opponent is putting out the best competition right now with his disconnects. So, you know. We did it. We did it, Reddit. We got there. Sure. Mm -hmm. Kill my dude. Oh, look, look how big your Yeheni is now. Hole never untap. Oh, man, Glimmer of Genius, where were you last turn? Something magical. Oh, dot JPEG dot AU. Thank you for the two month sub, really appreciate it. Not dot AU. Dot JPEG from Australia. Really appreciate the support. Thanks so much. <laughs> John, did you get my... John, what did you think of my message the other day about the Rockstar support, man? 
You never responded, but I was like, I don't even know what to do. It seems like you're acknowledging the problem, but then admitting that it's not a problem. I was confused. Look at this, look at this aggressive, uh, this aggression will not stand, man. This unchecked aggression will not stand. I'm just gonna play all the lands, because if we glimmer next turn and we draw a land, I want to be able to hit a land then, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, got that Caleb host. Oh, got that Narnam Cobra. Dang. Oh, that's cool. Why don't you put it on the Yeheni? Look at all these things you're doing. And none of them matter. We have also Watchful Automaton that can scry. That's pretty legit. Do we have any flyers? I feel like we just want a, a flyer here. Well, that's not a floater at all. That's just too many lands that were tapping. No, that's not what we wanted to do. It's still fine. I'd play that dude anyway. Oh. Keep you. Bottom you. Okay, all of these things are fine. Man, we couldn't have, still couldn't have played this. We'd only have two mana instead of four. How many dudes can I take down with this guy? They block with a 3-4 and a 3-3, then we just trade with one. That seems dumb. I don't think we did take a Windkin Raiders. Can we grind them out with like, is there a way to damage them? How about that ego? Can we damage that egos? We can copy something. That's brilliant. We can copy something, he said. What a genius. This is why you guys stick around. We can copy something. God, what did you draw? Six mana? Seven mana. Watch, it's going to be that stupid lizard that gives you energy for each dude you control. Oh, no, wow, you're just paying X here. Oh, it's just Fenholler. That's actually not a thing we are incredibly concerned with. I'm okay with that. Actually, Fenholler seems very good with Sahili's artistry. So that would be our creature. What would be our artifact? Like Percata Pillar Bug number two? Inject Helio. Yeah, if you post a link, uh, it will be blocked, but I can see it. So I'll still see the link. I didn't know... I did not know that Digital Blue would be... is a thing. See, because you can actually... I'll do this... I do this quite frequently. So... I could do this. And then it's just super weird. <sighs> what to do? Sweet, I'm opening that. Alright, um... Yeah, anyway, this is coming back. Up. Oh. Alright, sweet. I don't think we do need to play Artistry right now, but I do want a way to, like... If they alpha, I mean, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... We can, we can actually play Yeheni here. And we, we do actually we'll play a land we can Descry twice, which is nice. Descry so nice it happened twice. Cobra's good, but, like, I'd rather just have Percata Pillar Bug because we can't actually activate the Cobra's ability. We have no way to make green, so it's just a 2-1. I'd rather just have the 2-3 where we can activate the lifelink. Yeah, CPA 69, you figure it out. 
You got there. If this is just a 2-1 Death Toucher, it would probably be the right choice. However, I wonder if they'll just get greedy at some point, like right now. Do they just... Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies? Wait, what happened? Oh, that's mine. I was like, why did yours trigger? Did one of my guys die? Well, we both have Yehennies, and that's, oh my god, I just totally, I was like, why did, why is my guy dying? Sure. Seems fine. We figured it out. We got there. Do you have something else? I mean, we have expendable creatures, which is nice. Oh, just another Verdant Automaton. Okay, none of these guys are terribly exciting, but I do like that our Yehenna gets larger when you choose to sacrifice them for eight of the Cowl. Which will trigger. And maybe eventually you'll just deck yourself. So we also put one land on the bottom from Glimmer. I know that much. So let's see what happens. Oh boy. That's actually fine. Yeah, it doesn't do anything. Two lands on the bottom. Three lands on the bottom. We scry during our upkeep here. Now we copy Hornet Found Foundry Hornet, I guess, and we can kill one dude. Yeah, Ridge Scale Tusker would be pretty insane. So five, six, seven. We have no reason not to scry here. Keep. Midnight Entourage. All our Aetherborns are so much bigger now. I think we just pass here. I don't think we have anything to really do. They do get to draw one card. It seems fine. It's a land. Hooray! So now they're going to attack for two in the air. But we were ahead on both time and cards, so that's good. So, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There are five lands left in our deck. Oh yeah, keep, keep making this Yehenny bigger. Keep hitting them lands. Dang it. Us too, apparently. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can actually Sahili's and Scry once here. So we can actually just copy Pillarbug Foundry Hornet. Not the most exciting, but still pretty good. I wish we could copy two <laughs> Foundry Hornets. That would be significantly better. They also have 10 mana, so they can activate Verdant Automaton twice, which make it a pretty sizable dude. And we get to draw from... Um, yeah, we're definitely considering an attack here, 100%. So, 3, 4, block, probably blocked by 4, 4. Uh, all the big dudes go in. 
You have no cards in hand, so you're probably just putting counters on this guy, so that's fine. Do all of your things. What? <laughs> yes, do that, please. I will make him indestructible. And when both these guys die, we draw two cards. Oh, yes. Yes. This is also great for us. Sure. Wow, really? Oh boy, this is this is nice. This is juicy. This is juice. Um, so we're gonna kill you first, and probably you second. Two three and two two. I don't really care about. I also don't want you to put another counter on something. Um, favorite MTG card. It's probably either Cryptic Command or Mystic Snake. Cryptic Command is my favorite serious magic card. Mystic Snake's my favorite just magic card. Wow. Infinite Yeheni triggers. We draw two and we gain four counters. Sure. Yes, please. Oh, I, I always yield. Always yield. I feel like we're in okay shape. We get to draw two cards, too? Man. The life. Play this land. Play goggles. And play Automaton. And now we can still activate both Prakata Pillar Bugs if we need to. And uh, I think we're okay. They have three creatures, we have seven. I think we just came back. Case, how did you not know my favorite card is Mystic Snake? That's super funny. And that's the game. That's the game, boys! Oh, this guy would have been real good, too. We could have equipped Flyer. I'd rather keep up the lifelink, though. I'll take two. The Crypto Command. Crypto Command is my is my favorite, like serious magic card. I never pass Mystic Snake in cube unless it's like the last pick and I'm already in colors. Is make obsolete good against them. It doesn't feel great. I feel like rebuff could be good. They seem to have some some real expensive gentlemen. Also, Fenhaller seems good. I'm gonna take the Moray out. Maybe Automaton. I'm gonna keep this hand. Also, if you guys haven't done so, please feel free to follow or subscribe. Both of those things help me out as a content creator and streamer, which has been a controversial subject today, apparently. Um, why 
Why does it stack all the way down there near my hand? That's weird. Oh, look at all those cheers. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Say sorry. My cup, my cup floweth over. I don't think we're actually able to do anything, so we're just going to keep up that rebuff. My cup runneth over is the saying, not floweth over. That doesn't even make any sense. No blocks. Pfft, that dude's gone. Just go somewhere, rhinoceros. Can I get a three drop? Can I get a Yeheni? Boo, car repair is right. Oh, man. I'm glad about these double midnight entourages because they're going to be real helpful. You kill one, you kill. I draw two cards. Oof. They're going to each be four fours. Oof. That's a, what a time to be alive. I will definitely keep these streams coming. I'll you can't stop me. I'll be streaming forever till I die. Stream till I die. That's a tattoo I'm gonna get. Ain't blocking that dude. This guy has no plays though, which is super interesting. Is there a cube right now? Is there a cube? <laughs> midnight back to back midnight entourage. Got them back to backs. Is there a cube up? Oh my god, someone tell me right now. Doesn't look like there's a cube. It's all either revolts. Well, that ain't right. I got real excited. Look at all these creatures you're playing. The funny thing is he actually commented on that post and he's like, you get paid. You're, uh, it's not hating. And I'm like, I don't get paid for all the things I literally mentioned in this post. Which is funny that you mention it. And then he deleted his comment. And I was like, okay, that's weird. It's like you came here to tell me I'm wrong. Like, like I'm lying or something. I don't know. It was weird. It was super weird. I too have a death toucher. It was the best made me look, man. Oh man, I was like, where's the cube? Where's the cube? I got so excited. But there was no cube, was there? Game specific. Unbelievable. Hunter, you need to relax. You need to chill out. You're getting too worked up about life. We get to draw a card and we get to rip your last card out of your hand. Please be a Ridgeback Rhinoceros. Oh my god, it's going to be something good because you're taking a second. Oh, it's just 80 from the cow. I mean, it ain't terrible, but it ain't great. But it ain't terrible. I wish this was an Aetherborn, then we can draw two cards when it dies, and it'd be a 3-3 Death Toucher. Whew. Rude. Rude. I get to draw two, though? Oh, baby. Give me them crads. Oh, and we get to cast that, too? Oh, man. Aid from the cows. 
That's actually funny. That's funny. I like that. I like what you're saying here. You 100% attack with Fen Holler because you'll trade with any of these guys. Like, you either get a second Midnight Entourage or you get an either Poison, or both of which are just, just fine. We have a million cards this game. You're gonna... I don't want either of these, to be quite honest. Maybe it's Goggles? Don't care. Gonna crack this guy. Crack this crawler. Yeah, and like he's like, you get paid. I'm like, I get paid in the sense that like, if you guys choose to donate or subscribe to my stream, sure, I get compensated um, slightly for the four hours I spend playing Magic the Gathering and using ticks and packs and all that stuff. Um, but like, I mean, I'm not making a fortune streaming on Twitch or posting to YouTube or making Freshly Brewed with Ollie. Like, Yeah, I don't think we attack with anything here. Like, I attack with this guy, but I think you trading with this guy is just... Or they just take one, and it's real sad. So for someone to say that, like, I do get paid from one particular outlet when I produce content to, like, five, it's just insulting. So, um, God, the stupid Cobra. We're just gonna. I mean, 10 subs a day would be super ideal. Today we've gotten like two so far. But, I mean, that's why I set the goal to try to make it reasonable. I'm like, if I can get five subs a day, I feel like eventually I can sustain myself, like just streaming or, you know, whatever. But I'm not there yet, you know? I mean, I can, sus I, I can sustain myself. I'm not like. I'm not. I'm not. A beggar you know I'm not poor <laughs> but like yeah when I don't have a nine to five job like I'm reliant on income that is not cons that is that that sometimes is not consistent you know so um I usually sh I try to stream three to four hours uh Monday through Friday I've been getting I you know I just moved back to Florida I'm get trying to get used to a schedule um, so I'm not sure. Like, I've been starting to stream at 5, but I'm not sure if that's ideal. Because that most closely resembles the stream I was starting at 2pm on the West Coast. So. Yo, I don't know. We can sack this dude and draw a card. That seems good, right? No. Fenhaller seems great here. It just blocks other Fenhaller. I'll win that race all day. Trade? Fen, Fen versus Fen? Fen v Fen? Yep, get bigger, get swole. Oh, we just win. 
Radio. Let's do it again. Let's keep on churning these bad boys out. Furious typing sounds. Fen v Fen, Dawn of the. Do you guys remember the old uh, the old case from 1982? Fen v Fen. It was a good one. <laughs> 